say my time. As far as I have my song out, you know? So I heard from to come out here and shoot this my baby. We don't know if I'll be the whole other day. Yeah, true. After I get up first with it, all the normal music can play. I just, I was just positive going through the entire game. Yeah, I know Barak's been a big bit of time with you before the first match, so I'll let you have a chat to him. He's very, very proud of you. Shout out great performance, great debut. Uh, just to be out there playing Destiny, you, you look like you were enjoying every moment. You did never lost a smile on your face. Oh, well, that's all you could do. Just enjoy it, because um, it's just cricket at the end of the day. So you just got to go out there and be positive and enjoy every moment of it. You walk out to bat, uh, 9 for 1, 3, 3, never played chess cricket before. Here you get Manus Labashi with the Irish shoelaces. And then you start to whack and Josh Hazelwood down uh, over the members. Oh, that was just my way of playing. Yeah, aggressive. Uh, hitting the ball is just part of my ability. So I just went about and do that. You spoke the other day that you were a little nervous when you were were about to go your first ball to Steve Smith and then you did, you got him out. Yeah, well, I was nervous on that first ball, but at the end of the day, you still have to face what is in front of you. And born to Steve Smith, as I said earlier, it's a great pleasure for having him on my debut and the first wicket in, in Test Wicket. You said when you spoke to years before the test that you just learn it every day. You walk around with a cricket ball in your hand. So what did you learn about Test Wicket as your bowling progress? Well, it's all about being consistent. Being consistent, hit the area, and just work with how the pitch, see what the ball doing, and just stick to the basic. Any five wickets? Uh, it is a remarkable story. We've spoken a lot about it. Where you come from in, in the last 12 months uh, to go from putting the job, taking a big punt on that, and to take five wickets in case they do. Yeah, well, getting five wickets it wasn't that easy. You just have to work for it. Five wickets is just come, work, put the balls in the area, get the back, money off, bowl them. Touches, you know, so I just went out there and stick to the basic and just went to play my game. Can you take us back to that moment when a tree almost falls on you, you're logging and you decide I need you to do something better in my life and look where you are now? Yeah, well, I really don't like to go back in that moment, but you know, thank be to God, I'm out here safe today playing for the West Indies. So that's an amazing moment for me. And your two kids, I know one always wants a cricket bat. Uh, what is it? The reaction been like back in Barakara, even in New Amsterdam, where your family is? Well, I received a, uh, a set of phone call from Barakara. You know, they're so proud and happy for me. And I'm happy that I made them feel that way. You know, because they support me day by day throughout my career. So I'm really happy that they're proud of me. And I will continue doing good for them. And uh, there was a bit of a scary moment just before the end of the game. Uh, it was quite large. And you look pretty bothered and shaken as well. Can you just take us through that? Yeah, the, I mean, that was a tough one. They probably just lost the ball and get hit. So um, it's not the easiest thing to get hit by a hard ball. I had it in my first innings, you know, and it was kind of shaky. But, you know, um, I must say I'm sorry for that. It's cricket, but yeah, I just hope that he's well. Then going back to your son, the one thing you worried about the most before this test debut of Hartford made the test debut, making sure you got that bat. Is he happy now? Yeah, he's very happy. He loves cricket. He want to come in my first step, and I love that for him. If that's what he want to do, I will support him day by day. So, Shema, I want to ask you, growing up, not knowing a lot about cricket, who was, why did you get involved in playing the sport? What was the thing that, that made you love the game of cricket? Oh, well, back home in Barakar, as I said, we used to play uh, some cricket uh, every Sunday, every weekend. Um, we had match like every Sunday, Young Strikers, Showtime. We had team from the other part of the river, Garbage River, that come over. So there was a big cricket early part, but as soon as every, you know, young people trying to achieve certain things in life, they went away and, you know, I decided to come away to my house. And that's when I met up with um, the Mario Shepard and all these guys. So who were your heroes, cricket heroes? So you were bowling here for the West Indies. Who did you want to be when you were younger? Oh, that's a tough one. There are a lot of fast bowls that I admired. Even until this day like today, like Mr. Star, Pat Cummins, all these guys, his world, I admire them. But mostly, you see, um, Sean Tate is there with us. I really admire him. I watch back a lot of his game. Dale Stain. I admire his passion. And I really want to be like him growing up. The Bishop. My father and mother at the moment, you know, he, he was very, he was a very good cricketer, you know, so there's a lot of options who you want to be like, but I just want to be great. And just one more, when you came to the massive grandstand in front of this here, 
and you got all that applause and you bowed to the crowd with the ball in your hand, <laughs> five wickets, with the West yeah. Indies cap. Take us through that moment. Yeah, that um, was very special. I think the support from these people out here is amazing. I think um, the, from since they, they saw me get the first wicket, they felt really appreciated by me and they love me for that. So I just give them every credit and every moment that they need. Just one final one for me. You've got a bouncer with a ball and 